Hi there, Coach Tommy here. We got an excellent question. What about the rear naked choke on the crown? What's the Krav Maga solution for that? At first, we need to understand what is the problem. If you are already all choked up on the crown and you have nowhere to move, you have your neck covered with somebody's hand, there is nothing you can do. But the key to that is how do you end up in, that, in, in such a position, all right? But let's take a look at that. I'm surrendering to Hedy, I'm giving her my neck. She is getting those deadly snake hands around my neck and I will be choked out. In this situation, the best I can do is to play time. Get some air, as you see what I'm trying to do, get my chin in between my, my neck, and then waiting for her to do something that will open her position somehow. How did I end up in that position? And we will go to that next. I'm the attacker. Hedy is fixing a car or something like this. So as you see, she's immediately going into action and starting the defense. And she's already out of that attack even before my back hits the ground. And that's the timing, that's the idea then you have chances of uh, survival. But if you start dividing your forces being here and, and then doing stuff like that, you're gonna be in trouble. This is the same thing as the headlock or, or rear naked choke, you know, standing up. Thinking of the situation that the hand comes from here and now there's a pull. And now as you see, I'm pulling this way. And now as she goes into action of doing this, using her head correctly, as we have the saying of doing that, and at the same time protecting her neck. And now, train this as a whole motion, because the problem comes when we start to make the uh, decompensation here, when we start to break this into parts. Let's say that, okay, bring your hands, then start turning, move your hip, then it looks like this, and now you end up in a you know, headlock from the side. But as one motion, think of protecting your neck, get scared, startled, push forward, come with the pull. Now it's making sense. Then what if the pull is to the other way? And this is exactly the same on the crown. Let's turn like this. What I'm doing is that I'm using like a A type, A frame lock here, or I'm just pulling this way to so easy. Now her hands are going that way, so she's going towards there. And that is making luck to my hand, of course. By thinking that if she starts to pull away from my motion, if I am doing this and she tries to pull out, trying to go there, for, take a step forward, only thing's gonna happen is that she is going to get choked. Attacker has always the advantage in the beginning, and now, this is the anti-ambush drill that you are doing and making the attacker's plan not to go forward. And these are very easy to test, as you see. Always the active attacker. Once she starts to do something from here, I start to react. As you saw, I was trying to hit her to the head. If we do that in slow motion. Once she did this, I was trying to punch her to the head, but the head was not there anymore. Now, in the exercise, when she's doing these first times and she gets tapped to the head, she understands, okay, I need to move my head someplace. First, it might be that I'm moving my head backwards and then she gets slapped to the nose. Oh, well, that was not a good idea. Maybe I go here. And that's how we learn. That's the uh, constraints that we are putting in there. All right, as a summary, Headlock on the ground. Don't start the training from the point where you have no options anymore to train. The only option you have is doing this. Of course, you can continue the training there and, and it's important part, but as to learn the technique, do it first standing up, then you can do it sitting down, and then you can do it by the attacker taking you to the ground. But if you are lying on the ground and I am sort of like getting you know, underneath you, well, you have some clue that hey, something is happening here, but that's just the uh, traditional way of training. Like you are already in such a problem that how do you get out of this? It is before the lock or position is fully intact. That's the key. All right, guys, thank you for the excellent question. I hope this answers. Let's keep on discussing. You have some other 
things that you want to see, just, you know, shoot them out. We'll be happy to uh, uh, go them through and give our five cents worth on those. We have the uh, whole video course coming on skill trading and, 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 and constraints led theory. And also there will be a free ebook coming out. Do you subscribe to the channel? Hit like, hit subscribe, and follow us for more.